In some individuals, there can be a tiny microscopic piece of muscle tissue in an abnormal position which links the upper to the lower chamber. This is called an accessory connection. This permits electrical signals to bypass the heart's natural conduction system. If impulses are able to travel down this tissue from the upper chambers to the lower chambers, the EKG looks abnormal. This individual has a condition called Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome, or WPW. Some people with this abnormal connection cannot send signals through it from top to bottom. They don't have the WPW condition. An individual with an accessory connection can have an attack of a very rapid heart rate, which is called supraventricular tachycardia, or SVT. During an attack of SVT, the impulse goes down the normal conduction system and then discharges both the ventricles. The impulse can then re-enter the atrium or the upper chamber by traveling back up the abnormal accessory connection. The impulse rapidly travels back down to the ventricle and back up incessantly with the signal continually running in a circle. It travels like this, driving the heart very rapidly at a rate of 240 beats per minute, for example. People with this kind of arrhythmia have muscle tissues in the bottom part of the right atrium which have developed slow electrical conducting properties. If a beat occurs early, it might take a detour through the area of this slow atrial pathway and then go down the AV node to the ventricle and then turn around and again go through this slow area. The person will then have a rapid heartbeat or tachycardia with the impulses running in circles between the slow atrial pathway and the AV node. During this time, both the top and the bottom often beat simultaneously, and some people can feel this with very prominent neck pulsations.